Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, so Alex doesn't like the um, dangly bits on the side. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you listening, Sony? Yeah. Dab me up, fool. Yes, sir. You gotta review the A7. I can. Today? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, let's do it. Okay. In previous. In previous video. In a previous video. I discussed that I wanted to make a video about. Uh, the a7 III and more specifically the a7 III and where I use it most where I use it most at a wedding So now it doesn't always look like this sometimes towards the end of the night You'll see me holding it handheld like this throughout the day. I normally carry it on a Ronin um, I've talked about this Ronin a little bit in the past as well I do have the freewell lens cap on this one, but this it's the um, ND filter on there. So this is Again, just like last time, just so you know what it typically looks like in my scenario and when I'm using it, what I have with me. So let's touch on a few things about the a7 III and what we like about it um, on a wedding day. Specifically, one of my number one favorite things about a7 III and my main talking point when someone asks why I use this camera on a wedding is because I can shoot up to 120 frames, okay? And it doesn't like do that um, slow motion thing where once it's at 120 and you pull the footage back it's already in slow motion it's still live footage well what that means is it's also recording audio which is huge sometimes on the go you get these weird scenarios where you didn't even know you needed an audio clip but then you're in the editing room and you got this moment and you were able to record it and still get slow motion maybe if you want a reaction that way but also be able to pull that audio it's situational sure but having it can be a lifesaver sometimes so that is my number one thing about the a7 III that i love Probably number two in that is gonna be it's low light. At a wedding, oftentimes at the reception, it gets a little dark. It's just DJ lights. So you want a camera that's able to provide a, a, a decent amount of that in-camera lighting without being too grainy. And the Sony a7 III is really darn good about that compared to some of my other cameras. Um, this is a camera, again, that Alex and I both use. Um, we love this thing. And those two factors alone carry the weight in of itself. Now there's a couple of things about it as well that I do like. There are options that I don't use as often. There's uh, like slow and, uh, slow and quick settings on the very top that can be used. Um, so as well as there's all the different like presets and like custom keys that you can set on here, which I have, ha I have them set already, have had them set the same way since I got the camera. I'm pretty sure Alex is the same way. That way it's kind of uniform. And if we need to switch back and forth between cameras, we can do that. Um, I do have the Tamron lens on this one. I like it specifically because it's 28 to 75 and I have a good variable zoom as well and can adjust when needed um, for those wedding days so I can get those tights or wide shots for like ceremonies and things like that. It's lightweight, which is huge. Um, you know, I'm carrying it on the Ronin all day. The Ronin adds a lot of weight. So being able to have a camera that's not super heavy and big bodied uh, does help a lot. There are a couple of things about this camera that I have experienced that I would consider a negative. Um, one of the early, early on in this camera's time, Alex's camera didn't do this. Mine did, uh, the bottom SD card slot like fried. And I had to go into the settings and change that up and put it to slot two. And luckily I'm thankful it even has slot two slots for SD cards. Um, and like change that up. Um, that could have been just a me scenario, but that was really unfortunate because that happened on a wedding day and I was freaking out and I was on the phone with Sony trying to get this back and forth, figure it out. And luckily I managed to do that. Haven't had a problem since, I still use the camera, I just have to use the second SD card slot. Another big downfall to this camera is it does not have the uh, rotating screen that I'd like, like the Canons did. Um, it kind of just goes, you'll see here, it just kind of goes back up and down. Like, I can use it, 
but like oftentimes I'm trying to get a shot like up here above my head and the screen as you can see just kind of pans down like I don't even know maybe at like a 45 degree angle it's not that great same with kind of upright I guess it goes like up to a 90 and that's about it so I just kind of wish that it folded out did more um, I wish there was more mobility in it I think that's like a, a common flaw that a lot of people have with this camera I've I would say I've experienced some battery life issues it's common that I need um, new batteries granted I've been using this camera for a long time um, maybe it wasn't so bad early on but nowadays I'm definitely having to make sure I have an extra battery or two on me um, for the Sony just to make sure it's safe I guess that's pretty common I think my last downside about this camera is it doesn't have great like in-house stabilization compared to a camera like the R6 um, which sometimes is a good thing and sometimes it's not so much a good thing um, it doesn't really matter me, to me too much if I'm shooting at a reception it's a bunch of people dancing um, but on the fly you know, give and go action. Uh, sometimes the A7, it's really about how stable I can be with my hands. Um, I feel pretty confident personally, but I know for some people that's not as easy. Um, like I said though, I think when it all boils down to it, I definitely would recommend the A7 III um, to, I would say to like newer videographers. I don't think it's extremely out of budget. Um, definitely if it's your first camera, it may not be your initial move unless you have the budget to do so. So yeah, I would recommend this to um, to newer videographers, I would say, or at least like intermediate videographers. Yeah, A7 III runs 19. Okay, so 19. So it's a little higher than I thought it was, but I, say, I still say that's not terrible. I mean, we're, it's cameras we're talking about. So I mean, you know, it's gonna be up there. And But I think it's worth it. I really do. I really, like, I have two of them. Like. I don't, I, th I think it's definitely worth the budget. I think if you if you have it and can can get it, I would recommend this. I I mean, honestly, like I, I don't have anything bad to say about the camera. It's what I use all the time, every day. I don't really touch any of the other cameras. I don't use the FS5, I don't use the Canons. Like I really don't have anything bad to say about this thing. Like you were talking about the battery life is the only problem I've ever ran into because I didn't get hit with the uh, memory card issue. I mean, I use this for realty work, wedding work, commercial work like this camera on a ronin can pretty much do anything right. you need it to do all right guys and that was pretty <laughs> much it for the uh a7 III. um as far as on a wedding goes this thing like i said it can be used for any kind of videography and we do use it for any kind of videography we use it for commercials and music videos and things like that but primarily i want to talk about why i use it at a wedding mm -hmm. um i could touch on it a little further i'm sure but for the most part i think that kind of covers the gist it's good for the mornings of when you're getting girls ready. It's good for the ceremony being able to get tight, wide. It's lightweight and carry it the whole ceremony if it lasts 30 minutes, if it lasts five minutes. And it's good for the reception during that low light situation. Yeah. And being able to capture audio all throughout the day without even having a mic is huge and still being able to record at 120. Um, that's the basic recap of why I love this camera. Um, all right, so anyway, we'll see you guys next week with an exciting video Thursday at 6.30. Yep, don't wanna miss it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's it. That's it.